Taking on, making his Pride FC debut, Pancrase star Yuki Kondo. Yes, and we have a special guest again next to us who is going going to call the shots with us, ladies and gentlemen. Let's introduce here Hanzo Gracie. It's a pleasure to be with you guys here. Thank and you. You did introduce me right. I'm the best looking guy on mixed martial arts. You are the best Brazilian, best Brazilian looking martial arts. Who's the best Dutch? Let me. Me, now we're talking. Now we're talking. That's what we're talking about. Here we go. Time to start a battle. What do you think about this fight? It's an unpredictable fight. Kondo is a very strong fighter. He proved that when he fought Chiro Ortiz in the UFC. And let's see how this starts. Kondo, holder of the prestigious title of King of Pancras Light Heavyweight Division. I think Rutan knows a thing or two or three about the King of Pancras. Yeah, three things. His stand-up is incredible. Yes. He hits knees out of nowhere. It's a very dangerous fighter. Look at this, look at this. He's gonna pull this out. He has to pull it out. In the leg pickup by Sperry. And of course, Henzo, you know all about Mario Sperry, a fellow He's Brazilian. He's a very strong fighter. Not only strong physically, but very strong technically too. He started to fight very well, reversing Kondo into a single leg, and now took Kondo down. During the late 90s, Barry won numerous awards in the Abu Dhabi Submission Wrestling Championships, including the heavyweight and absolute divisions in 97. I know, Hanzo, you were also successful in those tournaments. Yeah, it was always a pleasure to watch him wrestle there. It's a very amazing fighter. He don't stop moving, very aggressive, and it's going to be a very good fight tonight. So we're having the chance to witness the history here. Hey, landlock, he's going for landlock. That's what I'm saying. Look how dangerous Kondo is. I don't, I don't see that Kondo is going to tap on the leg lock. I don't see that because Frank Gross is very well known for the leg locks. Something very unpredictable. Kondo went for an arm bar. That's how he ended up on the bottom. Yep. Okay, look, he is pushing now. He's trying to go for a leg lock himself. Gets top position. No, Marty's got a single leg. Sperry coming off a TKO victory over Andre Kapilov at Pride 22, while Kondo has a very impressive resume. Victories over Semi Schilt, Frank Shamrock, and Guy Metzger. Again, this is his debut in Pride FC, and so far, a very entertaining start. Look at the strikes. He is striking, he's striking. Very strong hands. Yeah. Very tough guy to take down. As you can see, Sperry is a very good. Wrestler, he takes down a very strong, but he still he has a lot of trouble to take Kondo down. Look at this beautiful sprawl. Well, sprawl there by Kondo. Nice takedown defense being exhibited by the Pancre star making his Pride FC debut. Look, he's constantly pushing the head down. That's going to be a knee. For the knee. Gotta be careful. <laughs> yeah. there. That's the thing you have to do. He has a, already a big swell up oh, his left yeah. eye. So so that lock. shows how dangerous Kondo is. Kondo a superior striker, Henzo. He's one of the best strikers I have ever seen in the mission martial arts. There's not a moment that you can relax with him. He's always very aggressive and very technical. He's got flying knees, his punches are crazy. He's done it in Shaolin. Nice foot normally. He'll trip him down there. Beautiful take down. By Sperry. Henzo, were you surprised by Hoist? Look at his uh, striking abilities in his assault with Yoshida. Look at this. I'm sorry, I've got to answer you just yep. seconds. Go ahead. But you see how, um, how tough it is to keep Kondo down. It's like he has springs on his legs. He keeps standing. Look. Look at him. And what it looks like, his stamina is unbelievable. He never, it's like he doesn't need, need to breathe. He can go forever with the same rhythm. Oh! And now the tables have been turned. I don't know if you guys realize Sperry was out there for a few seconds. Yes, the so referee didn't right. realize that. And he's put the hooks in now as he's gained his back. Tony was looking at him. Yeah. Look how slow he's moving now. This is the result of the knee that he received. And he's a bloody oh, mess yeah. Mario Sperry. There's a big gun there. They're going to go for the doctor yeah, check. The doctor check. And while we have this brief moment, then let's get back to the question at hand. Were you surprised at all or impressed, maybe, with Hoist's striking ability against Yoshida earlier yeah, tonight? I wasn't at all. I knew, I knew the, that would be the continuation of their last fight. I don't know if you realize the fight went the same way that it was going with Dynamite in 2003. 
So we, we, he did, all the moves that he did on the locker room was exactly what he did in the ring. So we're expecting like exactly those moves and and he showed himself in a very good shape. He even, he even took his gi off to show <laughs> yeah, that his was physique. Yeah, 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 yeah. He didn't shave down there. Yes, yes. <laughs> what did you got to go by step? And that's over, it's over. The fight is over. Let's stop and be a cut. He can go. You can go. Very, very dangerous guy to fight. Very very he's like a He can go. He's like the fight not even start for him. It's amazing. Yeah. He's one of the toughest guys coming up. I believe one of the toughest Japanese fighters on the right now is Yuki Kondo. Yeah. Sure.